My name is Dan Goodnow at Jim Shockey's Hunting Adventures, and I want to talk to you about photography during a big hunting trip. A hunting trip is much more than just pulling the trigger. All real hunters know that. But many people forget to take photos of all the things that make a big hunting adventure so memorable. The advice I give my clients is to A, always have a camera with them, and B, to think like a photojournalist would. Document with photos everything along the way that makes that trip interesting. That might be the airplane that you took to get to camp. It might be the people that you went on the trip with. It could be the cabin that you got to, the animals that were outside the cabin, your tent, interesting flowers, interesting landscape details, the shots during the hunt while you're glassing, what else you saw? Maybe it was a great sunset one night. Take all of those photos. Digital is cheap. You don't have to buy film and change cartridges out. Shoot away. You can always delete them when you get home. But you want to make sure you have all the pieces of the story that lead up to hopefully that great shot on a trophy animal. Speaking of that, when you do get your animal, Take the time to get the animal positioned correctly and figure out the lighting. Make sure the light is behind you. That's the simplest solution. Get the animal cleaned up. Show it respect. Pose it in a variety of different positions with a number of people that were involved. If you had a guide, make sure you get photos of the guide with you. He's part of the experience. Take close-ups. Take detail shots. All of those things will lead to a much better memory of your hunting adventure, not only for yourself, but for your family and friends when you return home from your trip.